So I'm back with her lovely 80s-esque hair. As you can see, I finished melting, because where we were last time was me melting the uh, power pastels with my metal stick and my soldering iron. Um, and I finished her hair. And so I decided in for a penny, in for a pound, and I used the power pastels on her lips here. So that's what I'm going to go next with this. Um, and then from there, because I thought, well, they're kind of like crappy crayons, so I, maybe I should try and see what happens with my Crayolas, which is what we'll test out here on the outside next. And one of the things you really want to make sure of when you do this is that your tool is clean. Um, because otherwise you'll be sad because you'll mix up your colors and it'll be gross and I'm kind of worried that that'll happen anyways but you know whatever so I'm heating it up right now um when you're using the metal skewer like even as high up as my hand is it still gets hot all the way up there so I really recommend exercising the most extreme of caution when you're doing this um or you know just don't do it at all but uh, I am not responsible for you and whatever injuries you may incur. I've already, as I said in my previous video, burnt myself quite a few times and it sucked. So be careful. So got it nice and hot and now we're just working on her lips. I'm really hoping that this will become like this really sort of cool three-dimensional piece of art um, and you know when you experiment you never know what you're gonna get and it could suck and it could be good and I decided you know yeah okay so it's kind of like this 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 game of well, I put this much work into this already. How far am I willing to take this and how far am I willing to screw this up? Like, am I willing to trash this if it sucks? Am I willing to try something else if it sucks? What do I want to do? Like, is what about this effort that I've invested? But I think for the sake of experimentation and where I'm going with this and how cool it's turning out, that it's totally worth it. Let's see, you can see where, ow, where it's getting nice and smooth. I thought I'd just show you guys that process. I try not to, I'm trying not to like drag this out because I don't know about you guys, but on a lot of YouTube videos, I tend to fast forward through, <laughs> through a lot of the excessive chatty stuff. But it's like, okay, get to the point. Ouch. See, it's already burning me and it's like all the way up there don't do what I do. I am a bad example. <laughs> don't do as I do. Do as I say, not as I do. If you burn yourself, it's not my fault. See, her lips are looking nice and pretty now. And I used those Power Pastels again on her lips. And that was all I used on her lips was the, the Jane Davenport Power Pastels. Um, it was kind of hard to do because those are so incredibly thick. Um, like they're, they're good size. They're like the size of jumbo crayons and it, it was hard to do like, it was hard to do detail. And I thought about sharpening them to try and like help it along. And I ended up deciding not to do that because I thought that it would just make things Oh, my camera's slipping. I decided that it would just make things um, a little bit more complicated for my... It would make things a little more complicated for myself if I did that, and I don't. I just didn't think that was a good idea. And there was like the risk of, well, it'll break, it'll make a mess, so here we are. I'm trying to give some definition to her lips. 
right now, but I think I'm gonna have to go over that with a, another like paintbrush or pen or what have you um, to give her lips a little more definition, but it definitely seemed to work out pretty well. I kind of wonder what it'd be like to do an entire face like this, but I don't know like if I could do the blending right or I don't I don't know how frustrating that would be so here down here this flower was done with the Crayolas so this part here part of the interruption by my child um, this is all Crayola I used the Crayola <laughs> the glitter crayons because I like glitter and I thought it would be pretty I thought ooh sparkles so we'll see how this melts get it good and hot give it a fair chance just kind of bring it in like that and it seems to be looking pretty nice actually I think we have another winner here so wax crayons on canvas with a little bit of melting and a lack of self-preservation I think we're uh, doing some pretty awesome things here I will definitely keep making videos as I go through and do this so you guys can see the whole process and you guys can see it as I finish it. But I'm really liking how this is earning, how this is turning out. Um, and what I did with the Crayolas was I did the darker color and then I did the lighter colors here. And I think that they, um, by pushing the wax in, the same direction like down towards the center of the flower I think is making it give it a nice shaded look um, when it comes time to do like actual like definition and lines we'll see how hard it is or how it turns out but I think that this might end up being pretty cool if like a pretty cool technique if not slightly tedious and um, madly hazardous to your health if you're me and I say that as a like just a, as a word of caution don't be like me um, one Halloween I ended up in the emergency room because I was trying to carve pumpkins in a style that I had seen in a Martha Stewart magazine and I got 10 stitches out of the deal because I cut myself with a craft knife don't be me <laughs> seriously you exercise extreme caution and I, I'm telling you that with like see how high my hand up it, my hand is up on here that's like what four inches and it's it's hot up here so don't like set things down don't grab things too close just be really careful please 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 don't give yourself massive burns I burned the palm of my hand with this part yesterday um, and you can't see it you can't really you can't see it because it wasn't that bad because it was just after I turned it on but it, it it stung I mean it was a sharp little bite there so um, see doesn't that look pretty so we will continue late on later with our adventures of the wax and this girl and we'll see what happens here because I think this is turning out pretty neat and thank you for you know hanging out with me while I do my art thing if you like what you see please please subscribe to me um, and I will and if you have any questions about what I'm doing I'll get back to you you know when I see the comments or whatever if you have any like curiosity about what what I did or how I did it I'll be more than happy to like explain it or make another long rambling video where you have to listen to me blather on about nothing for 10 minutes um, so anyways I guess that's it for tonight thank you and bye bye